Welcome to Business Spotlight, where we get insights, we get reflections, and we get pearls of wisdom from local business owners. And my name is Kerry James. I am a business coach and facilitator. But today, the Business Spotlight is firmly on Dr. Joanne Tippett, founder and managing director of Ketso Limited. Good morning to you, Joanne. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here. Excellent. Let's get stuck straight in, if we may, please, Joanne. Give us a bit of an overview, a little bit of history and a summary of what you specialize in, please, at Ketso. Okay. So Ketso is a small... Ketso is a social business that I founded in 2009. The word Ketso means action in Lesotho, where I invented a hands-on kit for creative engagement and learning. I did this so that I could make sure I could hear everyone's voice in dialogue in the work I was doing in rural regeneration and developed this sort of innovative way of making sure that in a conversation, everybody's voice was heard in a structured way to really develop new ideas and thinking. And what I found through my research was that this was a toolkit that could be used in almost any circumstance where people wanted to talk with each other, learn from each other and develop new ideas. And that's what gave me the impetus to actually found it as a business. Excellent. So who, who would be your ideal or your kind of target audience for, for, for the business, Joanne? Right, we've got three three target audiences. One is the, the people who are working with stakeholders or community members or the public in thinking about redesigning service delivery. So we've sold a lot of kits to the NHS, to the Scottish government, to um, people working with river basin management. Whenever you've got a complex, big issue that you want to think through and you want to get lots of different views on. So that's one. The second is actually universities and educators. So we've developed a, a, a hands-on learning tool for really helping people th with their planning their assignments, planning their writing, helping students to really engage in active learning. So a learning market and also people who are running their own businesses, people who want to develop an action plan, want to engage with their staff, want to engage with their customers and actually think things through in a more innovative way. And we've had some really interesting feedback from business owners that it's helped them to achieve more quick, get more ideas more quickly and actually get new insights they might not have got before because they're actually listening to different perspectives. Excellent. Well, here at Action Coach, we're big fans of uh, of action, so that's interesting to hear those two, those two elements and the origin of the uh, origin, of the name of the business as well. Tell us a little bit more. I know you're involved on on the academic side as well. That's kind of overlap with your research interests and the business. Tell us a little bit more about that, please. Right. Well, my all of my research has been about two questions: How do we plan for a sustainable future? And how can we work together effectively to achieve that? I'm a senior lecturer in the School of Environment, Education and Development at the University of Manchester. And I'm lucky enough to be teaching a class called Designing Sustainable Futures and a class called Planning for Environmental Change. So this, this is my passion. How do we imagine a sustainable future? Now, Ketso as a tool came out of that work. It came out of how do we talk together effectively? How do we think into the future of in, in really asking serious questions about how we could make change. As a business, I launched it, it's almost a mechanism to make those ideas from all of those decades of research accessible to anyone. So the idea is it's embedding all of this thinking that's gone into the research into a tool that's so easy to use that anybody in the world can literally pick up a kit, read the instructions, watch a few videos and run an effective wow. workshop based on that wow. research. And indeed, Ketso, Ketso has now been used in over 85 countries. So it's, it really has got the ideas out into the world. So I can hear the contribution from your, your dog there. And, and that kind of brings me on to the, my next question, actually, Joanne. Now, <laughs> yeah. Plenty of things have changed over the last three years, including a lot more dogs being present on, on videos. How has the, um, you know, the interest rate, inflation rate, the uh, you know, lockdown itself, people working more from home, et cetera, how has that influenced uh, your business, would you say? Okay, that's a really good question. Well, uh, uh, the very positive side for us was the, the, pan uh, the, in, the early, in the early days of the pandemic, I thought, right, that's it, business over. We, 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 run, a, we run a business where we sell kits for hands-on, face-to-face engagement. So 
that, that we're just not going to be able to do that for years and they're probably just going to go under. That was the first thought. A couple of days later, okay, pull yourself together. What are we going to do about it? So what we did was we, we actually developed a whole new way of thinking about Ketso. Of, we ter turned it into an individual pack that we could send in the post. And within months of thinking of this, I'd sent these to several hundred of my own students. We started sending them out to the people we were engaging with through um, projects I was working on that actually led to the, uh, the first post-industrial urban national nature reserve. We did the engagement online in the pandemic, sending people these packs. They then get them out, open them up, do some work on screen, sort of talking on screen, doing some work, everybody all over the world working on it and take pictures of the images to share with each other. So it totally transformed our thinking about what Ketso could be. And we're now, that has now turned into an, a learning pack that we sent that has been sent out to thousands of students, either in, in just face to face students that are coming in and they get their pack and they get to use it or to distance learners around the world. And we found that also that because we've really sort of repackaged it into something that's so simple, so light, so small, so accessible that lots of people are using it in their work just like as a planning tool, really. So it's really helped us rethink the business. That's one, th and, and a second thing that came out of lockdown for me was working at home with my daughter. Um, she was think, trying to think of something we could do together that, that brought my work and her interest in art and her, let's face it, sheer need to be amused in some way because it was just so difficult together. And we started thinking of new ways of teaching ideas it, in the first instance, it was sustainability ideas because that's my day job. Using physical blocks, we what did we have to hand? We had paracetamol boxes. We used paracetamol boxes to actually mock up different word puzzles and picture puzzles that turned into three-dimensional games, which has now launched a whole new product line, a whole new way of thinking about learning engagement, which has attracted the interest of UNESCO UK and a whole new project testing different ways of doing sustainability learning and community and partnership engagement in UNESCO sites. So lots of really positive things. Um, and also of course the challenges that almost all of our raw materials have got more expensive. Um, they, that we're needing to, but that's pushing us to think how can we do things as we, we, we're already trying to use off cuts and use the, the, really trying to reuse materials and be as environmentally friendly as possible. I guess it's just upping the ante on that thinking for us. So it sounds very um, you know, flexible in terms of the type of, organ of organizations you can work with then, Joanne. What, what, what do you see as the, as the current challenges? You, you mentioned costs, but in, in terms of the, um, growing the business, what would you say are the main challenges? I see three main challenges. One is it's, it's still getting the word out. I, I, I don't, if I could, if I had a pound for every person that said to me, oh, why haven't I heard of Ketso? What's, what's going on? What, why have I not been using this for the last several years? I'd be a rich person. Um, so it's, it's still, we've been mainly growing through word of mouth and, and networks. And I think we're, it, it's still that, how do we tip that into something that is a, a bigger, more, more successful process of communication? Of course, there's that sense for everybody that costs are higher and can we really, can we afford anything extra? I think our biggest um, message with that is that Ketso helps you make the most productive use of people's time. So actually it's an investment. It's, a, it's, like, it's like a sort of hands-on physical toolkit. It's, it's, it's a, instead of people thinking of it like, oh, that's more expensive than post-it notes. It is more expensive than buying post-it notes. It's more, oh, that's a really, really amazing computer that I can use with lo lots and lots of people and I can use it over and over. It's a durable resource. It's a bit of kit that I can use again and again. But when you're in a very cost conscious environment, people are, are wary about any extra spend, especially on something new. And then I think there's just this challenge that we've got of, of really people are sort of, it, 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 we're in a little bit of, I think, I think of a, a, a fearful time of people are worried about maybe, 
I, I feel like a bit like people are worried about exploring some of the challenging issues just because there's so much anger and that that might make people feel a bit more nervous about opening up big workshops to explore issues. I mean, like um, how to reduce traffic. Look what's been happening around the 15 minute city and how heated that has got so quickly. And I think there's an interesting tension here between the fact that Ketso actually would really help diffuse those situations and make them much more into a creative structured dialogue, but people are a bit nervous about even having some of those dialogues about difficult issues at the moment. Okay. And, and what about the, the competitive situation? Do you have a, a small number of, of key specific competitors or is it, or is it quite a, a broad <laughs> That's interesting. marketplace? It, it, I'm, oh, sometimes I wonder if it'd be easier if we did have some some more clear competitors where people say oh yeah no I'll go the Ketso version instead of the it, it was almost like is post-it notes my competitor I'm, they're not it's it's but you don't really think of post-it notes as a structured way to run a whole workshop so yeah. so in yeah. I guess the biggest one probably is people saying let's just do it all online it would be more efficient and effective to do it online mm -hmm. and missing that creative spark and the dialogue that comes from people talking to each other face to face so i suspect yeah. actually it's it's almost it, our competitor is the idea of the efficiency of an online only process yes that's interesting isn't it having a, a broad perspective on your consideration of what is your competitor in fact you could argue that uh, you know in the business coaching world probably our biggest competitor is is uh, business owners that don't do anything in terms of their coaching so it's interesting <laughs> that you have that broader uh, perspective on it so what about yeah. moving forward what about aspirations for the business over the next few years Joanne? what what what's uh, what are the headlines there do you think okay well one headline is i i want ketso to become a verb is, is this an important, I wanted to get to the point where people in boardrooms, partnerships, um, local authorities, they just know about Ketso. So they say, is this an important enough issue that we should Ketso it? Is this something we should go ahead, you know, we need to take this seriously, we better Ketso it. So that, that's, that, that's the ambition. And that's, I, I really want that to be, it becomes something where people just know, yeah, we should do that because that makes sense. I want, the, I want to see that universities across the UK and eventually around the world just provide one of these to their students when they show up because it helps them learn. It, it helps them with their writing. It helps them learn with their planning. So I want that to become just embedded. And I particularly have an ambition for that because it's so inclusive. It's so powerful for, for students with, who, with neurodiversity, for students who are shy, for international students, for people who maybe struggle to learn in, in quite the linear way that universities offer. It really helps provide a platform, an inclusive platform at the same time as a springboard for the really, really able, the ones who are just running ahead with their writing, it sort of helps them take it further. So it sort of brings those together into embedded inclusivity. So really seeing this embedded into education. And I've got a, a, this incredibly exciting opportunity. I've just won a British Academy Innovation Fellowship with the, the, United, the United Kingdom Commission for UNESCO to explore the integration of the innovative sustainability learning that came out of lockdown that really allows you to leave sort of big wooden learning tools in galleries and museums and visitor centers and the community and partnership engagement side of Ketso to really turn UNESCO sites into sites of thinking differently about sustainability. So we're testing that in um, several sites in Scotland and the UK in this next year. I have an ambition to see that as a global rollout that we actually see that across the world with these sort of educational resources for sustainability and the, the participatory governance that comes with it um, across UNESCO sites globally. Excellent. Well done. That might be a little bit more than just five years, a couple of years. Yeah. Well, well done on the Innovation Award. That's great to, to build on, isn't it? And coming back to your the, the point earlier about growing awareness, that's that's got to help in that area, isn't it? But so yeah. to get so to, to become a, a, a verb to get so something so that the hoover of the uh, of the action learning world. Very good. Excellent. OK, exactly. Cool. John, it's been it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Just one final question, if I may, for our viewers of Business Spotlight. 
any uh, any information or any offers that you'd like to share with people? Yeah, well, I think that our new Ketso Connect, which, like I said, we just we can just you can pop it in the post and it just you sit by your desk. I'd really say it's a great tool to try it, just to do a bit of creative thinking, forward thinking, action planning. There's a grid so you can actually set out an action plan. And we're offering a 10% discount on any kit. So it might be the individual kit or indeed the larger kit if you wanted to have staff meetings or engage with customers in a more effective way. We're going to offer a 10% discount up until the end of April 2023. So if anybody wants to take advantage of that, um, we'll send out a code and uh, with the with, we'll send out a code <laughs> can i say that again do you want do you actually want the code uh no we can we can include the the, the code in, in the uh yeah in, yeah in so, the social media posts etc yeah um, do you want me to say that again i got i ended yeah, up just, stopping it. just <laughs> yeah just just for the recording it might well be worth just um yeah, okay. just just yeah. re repeating that and if maybe it would be worth including the price point in that as well please Joanne. Um, let me just think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so the price point on the on the Ketso Connect itself. Yes. 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 Would it be yeah, helpful yeah. if I repeated the question? Um, yes. Yeah. I'm just so I'm just reminding myself of what the individual cost is for a Ketso Connect because I'm used to selling them in I'm used to selling them in the th in the hundreds. Okay. So give me need, just okay. sorry. That's okay. I should have checked that before, and I do apologize. That's, uh, That's okay. definitely. Give me a second. Just to make life even more interesting, the, the internet is really quite rubbish here in where I'm saying 29.95, right? So, so that'll okay. be yeah. okay. So I'll just I'll just for the to make it easy for the editors I'll just repeat the question okay yeah, yeah okay. okay so Joanne just to finish off if we may then in relation to the uh, the views of business spotlight any information you'd like to share or any particular offers you, you you'd like to uh, encourage people to think about yes well we we I'm sorry <laughs> do you want to say that your question again or. <laughs> Or should I just go straight in? Go straight in. Yeah, I'd really say if you're running a business, it would be a great idea to try out Ketso Connect. Um, it's small, simple. You can sit by your desk, use it to plan it, your, plan out some projects. It's got a grid for action planning. It's a great way just to get your ideas down and really rethink things. And we're offering a 10% discount on all of our kits up until the end of April, 2023. So it, a Ketso Connect is 29.95 normally, 10% off. It's a real cheap and easy way just to, to give it a go. And if you like it, you might want to try a bigger kit to engage with your staff, with your customers, and to really sort of bring in a bit more engagement thinking into your way of working. Very good. Excellent. All right, and Joanne, well, thanks ever so much for your time and your contribution today and all the very best with Ketso. Thank you.